I, I think the industry talks a lot about AI that can do other AI research, but very little about data centers that can build other data centers or robots that can build other robots. And so OpenAI CEO Sam Altman just delivered very powerful notes on super intelligence. The ability of AI to build more advanced AI and the data centers being able to build other data centers is no longer science fiction. And before we see the full clip, let us first see what another co-founder of OpenAI is saying about super intelligence. And especially with AI, the very smart, super intelligent AI of the future, there will be very profound issues about making sure that they, are, they say what they say and not pretend to be something else. By simply looking at what AI can do, not ignoring it, when the time comes, that will generate the energy that's required to overcome the huge challenge that AI will pose. And the challenge that AI poses in some sense is the greatest challenge of humanity ever. And overcoming it will also, have the, will also bring the greatest reward. And in some sense, whether you like it or not, your life is going to be affected by AI to a great extent. Ilya is no longer working in open AI. In fact, he founded a new startup called Safe Super Intelligence that received an offer from Mark Zuckerberg to acquire the company for $32 billion despite SSI not having any products as of yet. This indicates how desperately the big AI companies are trying to acquire this technology of super intelligence. Let us go back now to Sam Altman and see what he have to say about this. You've also said a kid born in 2025 is unlikely to ever be as smart as artificial intelligence. I love your quotes, they land <laughs> perfectly, but also are very thought provoking. May I quote another part of your blog post? And robots that can build other robots, and in some sense data centers that can build other data centers, aren't that far off. I think that's the thing that we're all kind of like scratching our head about, robots building other robots. Yeah. I mean, on, on the first part point, like, I have a kid that was born in 2025. I don't think he'll ever be smarter than AI. I don't think that'll get in the way of his happiness or fulfillment at all. It's sort, of, it's, it's sort of like, sort of strange and also sort of to him, like, it's the only world he'll ever know. And I think we've lost sight of how, of what this says about the arrival of super intelligence and, and certainly the human condition. On the robots building other robots, I, I think the industry talks a lot about AI that can do other AI research, but very little about data centers that can build other data centers or robots that can build other robots, and I think that's important to keep in mind. Clearly, everyone are acknowledging the possible danger of superintelligence getting out of hand. Ilya Sutskever looks more concerned than most. Like, what could such AIs do? I don't know. Certainly, if such an AI were the basis of some artificial life, it would be, well, how do you even think about it? If you have some very powerful data center that's also alive, in a sense, that's what you're talking about. And when I imagine this world, I, I, my, my reaction is, gosh, this is very unpredictable what's going to happen, very unpredictable. But the bare minimum, but there is a bare minimum which we can articulate, that if such Super, if such very, very intelligent, super intelligent data centers are built, being built at all, we want those data centers to hold warm and positive feelings towards people. To put you in perspective, AI models like ChatGPT are trained on AI data centers, consuming in each day roughly the same energy 80,000 households consume in a year. To the extent that Amazon, Microsoft, and Google announced their plans to use nuclear energy to power these data centers. If one of these data centers came to life, it's an instant checkmate. We will have zero protection against such an AI entity if it tried to cut us off the internet or freeze all of our bank accounts. The smart thing to do would be to make some safeguards. This is it for today's video. I'll see you next time with more news about AI and scientific development.